So this is always a good time to do some maintenance on the machines. So Michael's going to have a look at the bearings today on this roller mower because the bearings are squeaking a lot so it's good to replace them before they collapse totally. What have we just done here, Mikey? Uh, I've just released the uh, cable for the drive. It's hooked up to the roller. Um, so it's easier to unhook from this end. Okay. You know, if the tension on the uh, cable goes. So far. Okay. So that's disengaged, you know. So I took a clip off the side there. There's usually a washer on there as well. It doesn't seem to be on here. But it just unhooks just to free the uh, the drive shaft up. To take the drive shaft out. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to undo, take the spring off. I'll put it on the highest setting so it takes the pressure off. And then I just need to unhook the spring. I'll use a screwdriver just to get in, give me a bit more leverage. Just take that off. And then I'm going to undo the bolts, this side and the other side. Okay, same bolt each side. Same bolt, same size, and the nuts are 13. And this connects the roller to the main body of the mower. Yeah, and then the mower, and then the roller will just drop out from underneath. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen on this one. Seventeen on that side, and thirteen nut on the inside. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let me push anti clockwise. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Right, I can't do that with one end there. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want to take the weight of the roller and all? Take that out. Okay. Same the other side. Uh, except for the nuts. The nut is inside the actual mouth here, just down there. Okay. Still in there and that bit in there. On roll yeah. or off? Okay. So now what we're trying to do, get the. Oh, we just take the brackets off. Off each side. Do you want to screw like, that one? And yeah. knock it off. There's a key inside there. Okay. And then it's like a shaft running all the way through the middle. The shaft goes all the way through, which is on the end of this one, so you yeah, only take the one end off. Okay. We're in the barn. And it's raining like cats and dogs outside.
you got to do this in 10 minutes, you know, Mike, because I only want it to be a 10 minute video. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Uh, there's the key. Okay. I've got the key. I've got the super. And oh, there's a washer on there as well. Yeah, don't lose it, will you? No, try not to. No. Actually, and I found a washer today when I was mowing. And then the these somewhere. slide off. Or oh, you might need to uh, squade it a little bit. Oh. I doubt it. <laughs> Can we tie her? Whee! I mean, if, they, if there's nothing wrong with one, we won't replace them, will we? But Is there, Mikey? The bearing in here. You think it's gone? Yeah, they, there's. Is the, that like the roller bearing? Yeah, the roller bearing. There's no rollers in it. So let's just let's get the two gearboxes in the in the photo. And we can see the difference. Okay. So this is the spare gearbox we have here. Yep. And that's what the bearing should look like. And this is the one we we've been using today. Okay, so that looks absolutely knackered, doesn't it? Yeah. The problem with this spare one we've got at the moment, it leaks oil, doesn't it? Yeah, gearbox leaks. Is it worth having a look to see where it's been leaking from? Should we give it a good blow out in it? Well, we could we could just temporarily put this on, couldn't we? It's probably there, look, isn't it? That's not in proper. What, the, um, ah. Looks like that um, oil seal's not in properly, doesn't it? So we're going to take this circlip off, yeah? Yep, just take this circlip off. You make that look easy. So we found the spare gearbox, didn't we? Yep. Which we wasn't using because it was leaking oil. But now we've found the reason why it is leaking oil is because this um, uh, what's it called? Oil seal is in improperly. I don't know if that's because we did have it fixed a while ago, didn't we? Yeah, I don't know if that's come out since being fixed while using it or it wasn't fitted properly to begin with. It goes on the right way. Well, then, Mike, time to fit it all back together. Yep, just gonna make sure it goes on the right okay. way. Are we gonna put any grease in here or anything before we put it back together? The right. roller's now connected to the gearbox and now we've got to put the bracket put back on. The brackets, key brackets and key which fasten the doodars to the mower. <laughs> That's it. India's shaft wasn't sticking out enough. And that corresponds with the key. Corresponds? Where did you learn that word? It's cool. Just like so. And then put the nut back on. The Weber out there, absolutely down. Shocking. 
Oh, not too much. No, I know what you're like. On the bracket on the other side. Oh, it's already on there, is it? It's attached to the. It's already on there, mate. It's already attached on the one end. So then we've just got to put the roller back on. That's going to be in that pin, isn't it? Okay, yeah, so always remember to put this lever in. How do the Americans say it? Lever. Lever. You don't know what I'm on about, do you? I don't know if you know what you're on about. You. Oh. At least somebody doesn't know what I'm on about. <laughs> lever. I reckon I've heard the Americans say lever. Yeah. I think that's tight enough. Yep. No same on the other side. But it's the same. Same as this. Fastening this on, but on the other side. Yep. Is it good? We do now, Mikey. Just gonna put the drive shaft back, back in. Yeah, that's an important. Uh, part isn't it? Well, we won't be going anywhere if it doesn't. You'd have to push it. Me? You're so. right, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're the lawnmower operative. I can't see how you keep us through the light. So it slips into into there, and then. Into that one there, and then we put the circuit back on to hold it in place. So where it hurts my fingers. She's bloody cold. It hurt even more. It's always worse when you're cold. Oh yeah. Surprised I never caught my fingers. Uh, shame. <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to put the drive cable back on. Drive cable. And the drive cable makes it all happen, doesn't it? Go forwards. Yep. Not backwards, though. Just forwards. So there's a little slit in the top, which the <laughs> wire goes into. So you have to come in from the back side. Make sure the wire goes in the slot and then down and then you have to get the spring to sit properly. It's two prongs it sits in. And then you have to get the cable underneath. Just pull it slightly. So pull it you, you pull it this way to take it off and obviously slide it back in. The other way. Said and done. There we go. But then it's got the spring's got to sit right. Got two brackets. It slips into there. So then. That's on that side. And you get a 10 mil and you do it up at the top. Slips into the 
just give it off. Okay, let's pause the video for now. We're going to clean this up, put some more grease in, and put the covers back on. So, just got to put the spring back on on the lever for the height adjuster. The lever. So I, I'll just put a screwdriver in, so it'll be a bit more leverage, just like tightening <laughs> it off. <laughs> spring, obviously, falls on the floor. I'm not putting your face on this video because uh, you'll want royalties. Right. Oh. <laughs> Never goes to the plan, does it? Obviously, you should be wearing gloves for health and safety reasons. Gloves are provided by Dugtail. You signed all the forms to say you won't wear them. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Right, just check everything's working properly. I'm gonna get it going, but hold it, hold it still. Good. Go, I'll that. Let's see how it goes and I hope the oil doesn't leak. How was that mower with the new gearbox, Mike? It was great. Absolutely great. No problems? I think so. Mower's all fixed. See you next time.